Hi everyone and welcome to episode number 108 of the Karen Knits podcast. My name is Karen and I'm coming to you from South Central Pennsylvania where I live, where I work, where I knit and crochet and get into all kinds of other crafting shenanigans. I'm so happy to have you here with me today. It is a gorgeous day today. Bright, sunny, clear skies, light breeze. As you can hear, motorcycles out there, lots of them. And fair warning, we're probably gonna get serenaded by some kind of music in a little while. They are having some kind of, I can't remember what it's called, like a food walk or a food stroll through downtown here today. And right across the street from me, there is a band setting up. So my money is on, they will be playing before I'm done talking. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, you shall see. Um, if it's too crazy loud, I'll put this on pause and wait till they go on a break. And then I'll try again. So lots of work this week. I've made some progress on two of my whips and I've got another whip that I've started. I was able to deliver my flax light to my friend and her baby. I have not yet seen a picture of what it looks like on on the baby yet but when I went and dropped them off on Wednesday both mom and little one were felt like they were each coming on felt like they were coming down with a cold of some sort. Uh, they're hoping it was allergies. Uh, who knows? I haven't had a chance to talk to her since since Wednesday, so I'm hoping she, I'm hoping they both feel better. But I did ask her if she could pretty please give me a picture of of the little girl wearing the sweater sometime in the future. So we shall see. So she seemed happy with it, but she wasn't feeling 100%. So it's hard to judge what her reaction really was like. But I hope she likes it, and I hope it fits properly, and hope the little one enjoys it and hope she enjoys the sweater for, or I'm hoping that mom loves the sweater for the little one. We'll find out, maybe. Drinking Coke Zero today. So, work in progress update. I've spent a good bit of time on the weekend working on one of my granny stripes. I have not touched the purple one, the bulky weight one, but I have added some to the the worsted weight one. Just gonna put the hook there. So I I finished one of the white skeins with this much to go. I haven't caked up another skein yet, so I'll get around to it. And I've finished and I think I'm just starting the third skein of the the variegated. So I've got a fair bit of progress on it. I still have to tuck in the ends. I will get to that one of these days. But right now I'm putting it at roughly half done now. Almost half done. I might do a little bit more of the white in the center portion just so that I can stretch the variegated a little bit farther and hopefully not run out too fast but we shall see. I'll, I'll crochet as, as much as I can. So this is the Granny Stripes blanket and it's a pattern by Lucy of or Lucy of Attic 24 or Lucy from Attic 24. It's a free pattern linked in Ravelry goes to her blog, but it's a nice, quick, fun little blanket to make. And I, I quite like it. I, I enjoy making it. I've done one with sock yarn scraps and now I'm doing one in worsted weight and I've also have one going in bulky weight. So needless to say, I enjoy the pattern. And it's something that moves quite quickly for me. So there's that. Oops, don't fall down. I also went rooting through my 
my stash. And I found the, the yarn that I have to make the second granny stripe blanket is this purple. But I also have in my stash this blue, one skein of blue and one skein of this cream color. And they're both, they're, they're all chunky weight yarns. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I have nine of this. I've used up three already and it's not making, it's not a huge, it's not going far. So now that I've done three skeins of purple, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do a couple rows of cream, see how much yarn I've used. What I'd like to do is use about a quarter of the yarn on two or three stripes of cream. Then I will use half of the blue, a couple more stripes of cream so that I use up half of both of these. Then I will do the other three purple skeins and then I will do these again. I'll do another couple stripes of white, the other half of blue, a couple more stripes of white, and then finish off with the last, um, the last three skeins of purple. And I think that'll work. I think the, the blue will work out okay with the purple. I'm not sure if it looks the best side by side, but with the white buffer zone between it, I think it'll, it'll work. I'll make it work. And that'll get two more skeins from my stash used up, which is, which is one of my goals. I really do want to continue using up the stash that I already have. And I want to really limit the amount of new yarn that I have coming into my house over the next while. No promises, no guarantees. Um, I might not hold myself to that, but I really do need to spend some time using up the yarn I already have, because I have lots. And I still do want to go rooting through all my stash and videotape that and do up a video and show you guys like a flash my stash kind of thing. Oh hey, that works out good actually. The music is facing away. You might be able to hear it. Maybe not. But it's set up, they've got in the parking lot across the street They've got the band set up at a restaurant um, on their patio and the band is facing, or I guess not band, correction, one musician with a guitar. He is playing and singing and he's pointed towards the parking lot. Last time they had something going on out there, I think it was the same guy, he was facing towards us or towards where I live. So. It was a lot louder coming this way, but it's going the other direction. It's probably not going to be as distracting for us or for me. So that's the update on what's going on outside for anyone that cares. <laughs> anyway, so my second work in progress is, hang on, I want to grab this without doing myself some damage here. Because if I pull out the needles, I'll cry. <laughs> I probably would. Um, so my second project that I have on the needles that I've been working on since, a little bit since last week, is my Empress Top. And that is a pattern by Sari, no Sari Nordland. And I'm using some of this loops and thread wool-like. And as I mentioned in a couple other videos, I bought a whole bunch of this stuff on sale from Michael's several years ago, at least four, at least three or four years ago. You had to buy bundles of three. So the yardage is very generous. There's almost 700 yards of yarn on each skein. So it's, it's a very light fingering weight yarn. That's what this pattern calls for. And I've made some decent progress. I'm still not done the first repeat yet, but here's where I am so far. <laughs> this is not too So I'm, I like it, I'm enjoying it. 
The one thing I had mentioned last week is that I was planning on doing a couple modifications on the pattern and one of the mods was that the pattern has bobbles. I'm not a fan, not a big fan of bobbles either on a finished product product or knitting them. So I opted instead, was I showing you the right side or the wrong side? Oh, I did show you the proper side, I think. Yeah, I did. So I opted instead of doing baubles, I put in some beads. Now, I'm not sure if the beads are even that noticeable. I think it'll just add a little bit of sparkle to them in the finished product, but I'm going for I'm I'm going for the bead option. Or I've decided to do and create a bead option for doing this sweater. So as I said, I'm only about two thirds of the way through the first repeat. So I still have another, I think, 20 rounds to go. And then I have to do most of that repeat again. So from row 14 to 40 something a second time. And then you start on the stocking at so this is this is going to take me a little while to finish, I suspect, especially when I have other projects that <laughs> steal my attention. And speaking of which, the third round of Sock Madness has begun. The third pattern came out on Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday morning. I had an appointment to, well, the specs came out on Monday sometime. And then the pattern came out on Tuesday morning. And I was joking around with some of the some of the people in my group on Ravelry that I was leaving it was about ten to quarter to nine, ten to nine in the morning. I told them I was leaving because I was leaving the house, I had to go, I had an appointment to donate blood at nine thirty in the morning. And I said uh, I'd be gone for at least two hours, so I was joking saying that once I leave the pattern will probably come out, so you guys will have time to work on it before I'm even back home. The pattern came out at five after nine that morning. <laughs> so it actually worked. Me leaving home for a couple hours worked to have the pattern come out. So once I got home, I was all excited to get started. I decided to use the yellow yarn that I had dyed earlier in hopes of using for this. So this is the yarn all caked up. So it's a nice lemony sunshine yellow. And the pattern is a solid color pattern and it's so much fun. It is called Cably Wabley. I think that's how you say it. Um, it's a pattern by Liz Sedmak. And it's about, it's a toe-up pattern. Typically when I'm knitting socks, my go-to is usually top-down. I've knit far more top-down patterns. I don't particularly dislike doing toe-up patterns. It's just that the first few patterns I made were top down and it just seems that when you look at patterns, available patterns on Ravelry and other places, the majority of them tend to be top down. I don't know if that's just that more people prefer that. Either way, these ones are toe up and they have oodles of little itty bitty cables running all the way up the sock or so far up the foot. Now this pattern has a few really fun twists to it. I have on the first sock I have completed the the gusset increases on the the beginning of the heel and the gusset increases. So that part is done on the first sock. The second sock I am starting. So on the second sock I only have the first few, uh, two, four, I have the first five gusset increases done. So I'm about a, 
almost a third of the way through the gusset increasing on the second sock. Now this sock has some really fun details. I'll put a link to the pattern down below or a link to my project page where you'll be able to link or you'll be able to go and look at the pattern or check out the uh, Ravelry pages to see what what the patterns or what the finished socks that people have done already what they're looking like and there's uh, it is a neat pattern and it has some techniques again as I was saying that I have not done before so the first one that's on there is now that the gusset decrease or the gusset increasing is done when you do the heel flap the heel flap is going where the sock is worked around and around up to here now that you're starting the um, the heel flap that is going to work this way it's not going around it's the cable pattern is going to go horizontally as opposed to all the rest of it going vertically from top to bottom so that's really I've never done a heel flap I don't think that if I have I've forgotten it but I, I do not think I have ever done a heel flap quite like this one before then once you finish the heel flap at that point you've also done the you've decrease the gusset stitches back down again somehow haven't read that much of the pattern detail yet I'll wait till I'm done the second gusset before I get excited about that then you resume knitting in the round and continue with this cable design the heel flap also has a part of this cable design but it's going this way as opposed to this way and then you continue on going up the leg where you have this this part of the cable pattern will be going all the way around so it'll be on the back of the sock and the front of the sock then you get up a ways up the leg and then you're going to have another horizontal band where the cables are going to switch you are going to get to a certain point and then you're going to start knitting this way again all the way around the front and the back of the sock then once you finish that portion, somehow you get back to where you're doing the cuff back the, the normal round and round way. I have done one sock before that had a horizontal section, but that was knit all by itself flat. And then stitches were picked up to do the cuff and then stitches were picked up to work down the foot or down the leg and then the foot. So everything else was just your normal construction. You were just picking up stitches and doing the cuff and then picking up stitches and doing doing the rest of the sock. This one is done along as you go. So I'm very curious to see, very curious to see how that's going to be. And I, I am excited. I am excited to try the uh, the heel flap. Like I say, I have about 10, 10 or 12 more rounds to go with the increasing of the gusset on the second sock. So then once that is done, then I'm all set and ready to start doing the, the heel flap, going the opposite direction. So that's going to be really neat. Um, I'm hoping I can get them done fairly quickly. I'm getting closer to halfway done. There's been nobody on our team, my team yet, that has finished the sock or have, that I've seen yet. I haven't checked in a few hours, but I'm hoping I make it through and I advance from this round into round four. We'll see. If, if not, it's not the end of the world I'm okay with that but I am I am really hoping that I make it through until the next round of sock madness so this round only 24 people on each team will advance to the next round so we shall see we'll see if I'm quick enough to to get these done I have no idea how far other people on my team are doing how far along they are we have quite a few on our team that don't spend a lot of time in the thread talking. They're, they're knitting, as they should be. 
<laughs> but I find that I, I do try to look through the thread a little bit here and there. There are a, a handful that I'm aware of that are through the gusset increasing and are working on the heel flap and getting into the leg. So there are a bunch that are moving along faster than I am. So we shall see. Um, they, they will, I'm, I am hoping I will have them done before I podcast again next week. I'm not a hundred percent sure I should be able to have them done by then. The, the heel flap is going to take me a little bit to get the hang of it and figure out what I'm doing. I'm hoping to get at least one heel flap done tonight before I go to bed. But we're also, Hubby and I are also considering going across the street to see a movie in the theater this evening as well. So if that's the case, I'm going to lose close to three hours of, of knitting time. We shall see. But um, we should, I think we will be going to see the movie tonight. So it's the new, sp newish Spider-Man movie. So it'll be a fun one to see on the, on the giant screen. So what else is new? One more week of classes left. We're almost done with this semester. The search committee I'm on is, the search is going well. We had our second candidate came for a campus visit yesterday and another one is coming for a campus visit next week uh, on Friday. So that will soon be done. But we're, we're heading into the last week of classes. So I have a few things that need to get graded today. Then in the week coming up, I'll have materials from their second last week of classes. I'll have a few things that have to be graded. Then final projects and things that will be turned in and will need to be graded. So two weeks from, yeah, two weeks from today will be graduation day and I'm excited for that. I always enjoy going to graduation. I love seeing our students get their diplomas, walk across the stage. Um, I, just, I love that. It's so much fun. So there's that to look forward to. I'll, I'll see in two weeks. I'll see if I can get a picture of myself in my regalia to, to show you guys and uh, get, that, get that in here so you can see what that looks like. But I'm excited for that. It's always fun. And I think I'm just rambling now. I really am. I think I'm just rambling. So I should let you get going. I'll get the editing done on this. Get it up onto, get the editing done, get the processing done. And then get it posted up onto YouTube for you guys. And get back to finishing my second, the second uh, gusset increasing on or the gusset increasing on the second sock that was easy to say wasn't it so i want to get back onto that and basically my other whips the the two crochet blankets the the short sleeve sweater or the summer sweater those are on the back burner until these this pair of socks are done once the socks are done we switch back to my my older whips so and I'll get more progress on those. So stay tuned for next week and see if I have a finished pair of socks to show you and see if I make it through to round four in Sock Madness. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching everyone. Take care and I will see you guys again in a week. Bye.